great things are ahead of me. Something big, something marvelous. Great things are ahead of me. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. That's Kurt Carr. I think that's something big, something marvelous. God is doing it. God is about to do it. Amen. Shalom family, peace, blessings, and promises. May I pray that they manifest into your life. Hallelujah. We're going right into prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Zomarata Santa. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you for covering all of us. God bless the people that are watching your ministry, predestined ministry. Thank you for allowing them to support us. God bless their families, their children, their nieces, their nephews, their grandchildren, their aunt, their families, within the families. I plead the blood of Jesus over these families. I plead love. Hallelujah. Santa. I pray for the, the kingdom marriages that are in state right now oh god i pray love in the marriage peace blissfulness oh god hallelujah thank you jesus honesty trust hallelujah lord god may they grow together through you be separate in you but together through you in jesus name hallelujah amen hi miss ruthie <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Shalom, family. So, today's word is a two-part word. But the Lord want me to read the first part. Because the first part is an encouraging word. So, the first part is from Jeremiah 49. It's kind of hot in here, Holy Spirit. Okay, the Lord is here. Y'all know I get hype when the Holy Spirit get here. <laughs> okay, 49 verse 2. Jeremiah 49 verse 2. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will cause to be heard an alarm of war. And Rabbah of the Ammonites, it shall be a desolate mound. And her village shall be burnt with fire. Then... Israel shall take possession of his inheritance, says the Lord. I'm going to mute my notification so y'all can really hear what the Lord has to say today. Okay. God is removing your enemies out of the promised land. Some, okay, he said everybody is in different places. So some of you guys are just now entering the promised land some of you guys are in the promised land like you just got in the promised land and some of us are in the promised land but we're on that last step to enjoying enjoying the promised land right just like the people of israel did when they wandered for 40 days some of them got in some of them didn't some of them um went in and told the people that it was all kind of giants and and put the spirit of fear upon other people so they wouldn't want to enter the promised land so what god is saying is it's here it's here that's all i keep hearing it's here it's here god is saying it's time for Israel to take possession of their inheritances. It's time for us to enjoy everything that God has promised us, right? So, that's it. God is moving the enemy. See, God had the... Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, I have to calm it down. The Holy Spirit had our enemies in our promised land to keep up the promised land so nobody else wouldn't take it. Now God is ready. He's saying it's our time. So it's his time. And he is removing those people out of the promised land. And now we can enjoy our promised land. Some of us are just now entering. Some of us are have been entered, but not um, at that step to enjoy the promised land yet you still were going through trials and tribulations so okay that's the first part guys now we're gonna get into some teaching <laughs> the lord has a word for us he got some correction so i pray holy spirit you wash out my flesh my flesh and you just keep 
preaching. Hallelujah. Today's word will be taken from Colossians. The book of Colossians, not carnally, but Christ. So today the Lord want us to, okay. So today the Lord, um, you guys are distracting me here. I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> guys, get me excited. Okay. Have your way, Holy Ghost. It's the spirit of joy here. It's just the spirit of joy. <laughs> So, in the book of Colossians, there's a Bible verse that says, not carnally, but Christ. I'm going to put the Bible verse in the description because I didn't write the Bible verse for this particular one. But, it's there. Anyway, God wants you to know you are his warrior. You are a warrior for Messiah. Trust and cling on to Father God and his word. Trust that by the blood of Jesus Christ, the powers of sin and darkness are destroyed. Victory comes when you rest in Jesus. Resting means to watch and to pray. Be steadfast in your heart, which means to have a firm belief in your heart that no matter what is going on around you in the natural, God is taking care of it. It's all working out for God's will and for your good. So you have to believe that. The enemy attacks us through our minds by the spirit of deception, by lying to us, by trying to invoke and fill us with fear, anxiety, or depression, or discouragement. And all of this is to make you lose your faith, make you stop believing in God, and to make you think your prayers are not heard. We have to stay focused on God and ignore the distractions. We have to be aligned with Abba God and his will, which means we have to be in place. We have to be in position at all times. Hands and knees. You guys got jobs. He knows that. You know you got to work, but make time for him that's what he wants y'all to do he wants y'all to make time for him because outside of work you're trying to get some sleep outside of work you're trying to get some meditation time outside of work you're trying to do whatever personally you want to do but god is saying align with him in this season so he can bless you the way he wants to bless you be in position a praise of worship position and and and, and praying position that's how you be aligned with God. Spend time with the Holy Spirit. Call upon it and allow Abba God to direct you through the Holy Spirit. So everything you want to do, everything the Lord is telling us to do, we still have to ask him to help us do it. <laughs> we still have to ask the Lord to direct us through his Holy Spirit keep moving forward keep running your race for god's glory keep going for god keep going for god keep i'm sorry ask the lord to use okay some of us have a thorn in our flesh but it's not it's people it's the people it's 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 the people around us is it's the people. <laughs> so you have to ask the Lord to use the difficult people and situations in our lives to bring us closer to him. And that's honestly, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Whenever you encounter difficult people or 
you going through stuff with people and you're holding your own faithfully with God is it's not it's not the people is you have to okay it's the way you think about it you have to ele elevate your mind you have to transform the way you think about your problems and your situations Don't think of it as a bad thing. Don't think of it as this is something forever. I'm going to be dealing with these people for the rest of my life. They're going to keep doing this. They're going to keep blocking blessings. They're going to, no. Mm -mm. They're only doing what God allows them to do. And for whatever reason, he's allowing these situations to occur. It's helping us. It's working for his will, of course, but is building us somewhere like in my situation oh my prayer life is off the chain right now it's off the chain right now it's so off the chain the devil just tried to tell me yesterday and this morning that i'm not no prophet god not hearing my prayers all kind of stuff guys let me tell you something for every time the enemy tried to instill the spirit of fear in me yesterday every moment that the enemy tried to make it seem like i'm not anointed i'm not blessed i'm not a child of god i'm not living in the will of god god sent every god sent so many confirmations to me yesterday confirming my breakthrough he said god prophesied he said i might as well just manifest for you kenithia in the name of jesus christ so whenever you have people in your a thorn in your flesh like that and god is telling you one thing and they're not believing it or they're not um going along with god's will it's all working out for you god is not with you and with your enemies the lord told me this like two days ago he's like kenithia i'm not with you and with your enemies he said i'm with you because <laughs> i'm over here worshiping the lord and i say father i hate to tell the body of christ because my enemies is close to me my enemies is people y'all don't want to hear about and i and i the only the only time i say their name or say who it is is if the lord has me to it right now he's mm -mm. so my enemies is living in a house with me and i have to keep praying i'm just being real with y'all i have to keep praying I have to keep praying and and the lord shows me what they're doing but he also gives me instruction on what to do pray for them pray for them you have to bless your enemies that is what that's the lesson you are a child of god okay god has put you here to be set apart to be different everybody sins everybody sins differently but everybody sins so you are not to walk around and look down or say this person is like this person like that you have to do what the voice what the holy spirit is 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 instructing you to do at all times and if it's to put up with these people to build your prayer life or if it's to put up with a situation until he's able to deliver you from it you just gotta do it but with the help of the holy spirit hallelujah you have to remind yourself and in times of discouragement that i am believing the report of the lord god hallelujah i don't care what this looks like i know what god spoke to me i know what he told me in my dreams i know what he's what he spoke through 10 20 500 different people all confirmations for me so whose report are you going to believe the devil which says these natural circumstances are forever or the lord who says my prompt my, my answer is yes yes and amen and that's what the enemy does when he can't stop you through people like he see I'm not listening to the people around me that's saying I'm not called by God or uh, I'm this and I'm, I'm that, whatever, right? He tries to go inside of you. So now he tries to use you as the enemy. And that's why God say, can't nobody stop you but you. 
So you have to ask the Lord for new wisdom every day. Say, Heavenly Father, prepare me for this day. God, bless me with new wisdom, new understanding, new clarity. Help me to go your way. Help me to move the way you want me to move so that I don't be praying to you in a few weeks to change another situation. Like, that's honestly the kind of prayers I be saying. Help me to not go back to the same sins. Help me to have patience so that I don't be disrespectful in times of arguments. That's another thing. God wants us to argue respectfully. He had to show me that. And all this preparation of, 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 um, of growing and being who he's called me to be and him preparing me for marriage, we have to argue respectfully. I was, I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm black, y'all. I was cussing them out. <laughs> I was cussing them out, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I had a temper on me. You know how they said Moses was a was a temper head? He, and that's why he got in trouble with God, because he cursed out the people. I was a Moses, y'all. The Lord had to transform me. So... I'm saying all of that to say, argue respectfully. Try not to curse people out and all of that. Remember, God is listening to you. So whatever words you are releasing right now, if it is within God's will and you are being obedient, God is establishing it, manifesting it, and springing it forth. So if it's bad, it's like you just speaking. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. When you argue disrespectfully with your partner you're opening up a door to the enemy a link to the enemy for other things to try to come in and and cause more arguments which could further push y'all away for deeper things to happen that's what the lord showed me so it's very important you don't curse them out and 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 you know call people names and this and this and that um you want to keep peace as much as possible there are going to be arguments there are going to be disagreements you're still going to go through stuff but it's just how you do it the lord was showing me so that's for who he's speaking to and when you okay so he sends okay yeah so when the enemy exhausts his last option with going through us to try to stop ourselves, he is sending an evil, diabolical, unholy spirit that is moving behind these people that are the thorn in the flesh. So the Lord keeps telling me that we are not fighting these people. See, in my situation, the Lord hardened their hearts like a Pharisee's. And he told me before he was going to do it. That's, let me tell you all something. The best thing about having an eager spirit for God is that he got one right back for you. You hungry for him, he hungry for you. He will reveal to you and tell you so much stuff. You got to be quiet, though. You can't be telling them. <laughs> you had to show me that. You can't be talking so much, but... The, me, we have a good relationship. I have a really good relationship with the Lord. So he's always revealing things to me. He's always talking to me. He's always telling me things. And he said, those people, I, have, I hardened their hearts like a Pharisee to test you. So a lot of times people are acting a certain way to you, especially if it's close, if it's, a ch if it's, a ch if it's your children or whatever. Always take it to God and pray for um, revelation on the situation. Like, don't just be emotional about it. The Lord had to tell me to get out of your feelings, Kenithia. Like, stop being so emotional. <laughs> so, it's not the people. Because I get upset and, and the Lord knows my anger is not a wailing anger. Like, I'm not going to go cry somewhere. I don't want to fight. I don't want to throw these hands. <laughs> so he had to say, calm down, Kenithia. I'm doing this to you. It's me. I'm heart in their hearts. I'm allowing you to go through these situations. So just remember to pray. It's, I mean, we're human. We, you know, sometimes we get upset. But 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have to release that. You got to be just as fast as it is. I'm sorry, just as easy as it is for you to get angry when somebody tries you or get upset. You have to be just as fast to release that anger for the Lord. Because remember, bitterness and unforgiveness stops you from getting breakthroughs and blessings. I got a breakthrough book I'm writing. <laughs> Daddy, I wasn't going to say that, but yes, I'm, I'm writing a book, y'all. I'm showing y'all how to break through. The Lord's showing me how to break through, and I'm going to tell y'all how to break through. But yes, that's going to be in the book unforgiveness and bitterness God is not he oh he do not like that he will he will put a, a, a full delay on your promises and your breakthroughs until you forgive um whoever it is that you haven't forgiven I was going through that for a long time the Lord just kept showing me you got to forgive you got to forgive so I said dang who I got to forgive exes my parents like who who you, he said you got to forgive yourself and the reason why I didn't want to forgive myself is because when I saw how smart and how knowledgeable the Lord made me I couldn't believe I allowed so much stuff to happen like that to myself but he had to show me it's okay everything happened for a reason everything that is happening is supposed to be happening so we just have to pray for God to console us through all of that and 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 show us thank you Holy Spirit how to forgive and not um have that bitterness so When the enemy sends out his um witches, his wizards, his evil diabolical spirits um, to attack us they are trying to separate us from God they are trying to separate us from the divine connections that we are supposed to have so you have to remember Ephesians 6 verse 12 we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities things and, ru and evil rulers of the darkness of the kingdom of the world something like that Ephesians 6 12 right so we have to repent from having the spirit of pride give your burden share your burdens to jesus and rebuke and come against the spirit of fear take your authority you can only fight these spirits and people in the holy spirit that's why the enemy tried to tell me yesterday i'm not no child of god and my prayer is not working if he can get you to think that oh my gosh and see, I was so naive before the Lord allowed me to be promoted to where I am now in the spiritual realm. Ooh, I was letting the enemy just say stuff and say stuff. And, 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 and it was because of who it was coming from that I was believing it. I will be telling you, I have it's close enemies in this house. But anyway, because of this, the discouragement. Oh, you're never going to be nothing. You always going to sit around the house doing nothing. Oh, oh, but if you, like, you know, that is fear. That is spirit of discouragement. You are speaking into your children. And then when they get older, sitting there doing what you spoke, you looking crazy, telling everybody complaining. You can't do that. You speaking stuff over your children. And this is why God said, watch your tongue. Watch your tongue because you have power in your tongue. Just like you can make bad stuff good, you can speak curses over people, whether it be indirectly or directly. It's very important that you be careful. That's another open door. It's, oh, yeah? You want your daughter to sit there? This is what the enemy's saying. Oh, yeah? You speaking that over that person? You want them to be nothing? Let me go Let me go do this. Let me, let me mantle up an assignment real quick that could stop them in the future. Let me do this. Let me help you out. You can't do that, especially coming from a place of anger and rage. And the Lord is showing me a lot of time these people come at us like that over small situations that don't make sense it be because they haven't gotten over other stuff that happened to them in their past and they're taking it out on you but see 
This is why you are called for the assignment that you are in. Hallelujah. That's why this is an assignment. Because had anybody else gone through this, I don't know if they would have made it. You know? I'm talk, talk about your situation and your circumstance. If anybody else would have went through what you went through, they probably would have killed themselves. So that's why God called you to go through everything that you went through. Some people have been abused. Some people have been molested. Jesus Christ. Some people have been, oh, Jesus it's been nasty. But God said he allowed y'all to go through all of that. <sighs> Jesus. Because the next person would have killed themselves. But you were strong enough to take it. You were strong enough to testify of the goodness of God and how he brought you through it. And you are, and you, and now you are testifying of the better and of the good God is doing in your life. You can't have something if you ain't go through nothing. Jesus himself went through all of that to get to the glory, to get the keys over life and death. Hallelujah. To get the keys over salvation. So we're going to go through stuff. This is just what we are. We are in a world that is created by God. But Satan, hello, he got his power. It's the kingdom of darkness living here. So it's just where we are. Once you accept what God is doing, your walk with him would be a lot easier. You can't change it. So if you just accept it and ask him to help you more and more, it will work out for you. Remember to stay in the Holy Spirit. Excuse me, I'm almost done. And when you hold on and don't let Jesus go, Abba sends and deploys a legion of angels. Amen. Hallelujah. To help you get to your destiny and purpose. It will be a full on head collision between you and your destiny and purpose. Because you didn't stop. Because you kept going, because you were obedient, even when everyone around you was telling you you weren't listening to God or that's not God talking to you. Because you kept doing this. This is why God said, Jeremiah 49, he said he is giving the possessions back to Israel. So because you kept going, now you're going to collide in your destiny. Now you're going to, oh, Jesus eyes have not seen ears have not heard i got chills daddy hallelujah papa all that god wants to do for us but you gotta come into agreement with the holy spirit you gotta come in agreement with god and remember to stay faithful to him because he remains faithful to us daily the Lord wants you to make a difference by serving God in the way he called you to do so. Ask the Lord, why am I here? What am I supposed to be doing? It's in the Bible, though. You, Everybody is supposed to be um, bringing souls to righteousness. Everybody is supposed to be an evangelist. Everybody is supposed to be preaching the word of God. Everybody's lives is supposed to add up and show that you are serving God somewhere, right? So in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 18, but now God has set the members, each one of them in body, just as he pleased. You are perfect. You are unique. You are unique. You are the way God created you. You are where all our God wants you to be. So remember, all of your steps are ordered by the Lord. Okay, all of your steps are ordered by the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Zamarakata Santa. Robosuto. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for your faith today. I pray that your faith may be enough so that you may see all that God wants to do in your life. 
I pray for your heart to be Christ-like, your minds to be Christ-like, and for you to live in the will of God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you are right where you are supposed to be. When, when you are supposed to be there, aligned with the will and the word of God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You receive your full restoration that God is doing in this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is doing a full restoration in this season. God is saying, if you just stay obedient, you just keep going. He will bless you up something. It's going to shock up everybody around you. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it in Jesus name. God said, keep going. Keep being obedient. Hallelujah. Keep listening to him. Even when it's not what other people was telling you, you got to do what your heart, what your Holy Spirit, what your gut is telling you to do. Thank you, Jesus. He says to trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust in yourself. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Blessings and shalom, family.